In my last video, I showed you how to make an Inuit style arrow that only uses two feathers for the fletchings. In this video, I will show you how to make a Native American style arrow known as the East Woodland Tooth Fletch style. This arrow will be tipped with a bone point made out of the leg bone of an elk. For the fletchings on this arrow, I'm going to use the tail feathers of a wild turkey. Wild turkey feathers have a natural curve based on if they came from the right or left side. When making this style of arrow, it's important to use two matching feathers from the same side with the same right or left hand curve. Begin by trimming the base of the quill from your fletchings. Then on the top of the feather starting at about the center point, strip the longer feather fibers away from the quill. Once again, starting at the center of the fletching, Cut and split the quill of the feather in half and scrape off the pithy surface until it is smooth. Next, starting about a half an inch from the tip of your fletchings, strip away the remaining fibers. Now you are ready to trim the back of the feather fletchings to the proper shape. When you're done trimming the matching feather fletchings, you are now ready to attach them to the arrow shaft. You align the feathers so that when the arrow is knocked on the bowstring, the front of the fletchings will sit on top of the arrow shaft and the back of the fletchings wrap around to sit on the side of the arrow shaft. For this arrow, I'm going to use wet sinew to attach the feather fletchings to the arrow shaft. Start by wrapping wet sinew around the front and back of the arrow. As the sinew dries, it will shrink, forming a tight bond. Once the feather fletchings are secure, you are ready to begin working on your bone point. This process is simple but can be very time consuming. Begin by taking the leg bone of a deer or elk and cracking it with a stone. Then work the bone fragment on an abrasive piece of rock such as sandstone or pumice until it is ground into the shape of an arrowhead. This can be a very lengthy and time consuming process when using primitive methods. I'm going to finish our two fletch arrow with an arrowhead I previously made at home using my grinder. This only took a fraction of the time. I'm going to attach the bone point to the arrow again using wet sinew. Now you have a unique and very effective style arrow that was used by several Native American tribes.